pretty good. Even the death sequence, there's not much lag there. Please select your character. Wow, this run's really good. Team ORA recently released a new version of their ported retro pie for the Odroid XU4. And now Pie Piggies has come along and turned that new version into the first pre-built image for that particular single board computer and man is it cool almost 8,000 titles and this thing is packing some heat with some of those more advanced systems Nintendo 64 um, you know, Dreamcast PSP all running just great it does have Sega Saturn as well I wouldn't get too excited some of these run okay some of the others not it's not quite there yet uh, but 3DO and then all the other regular suspects still working great. Fully loaded. And this thing isn't just dumped all on top of it. It is select games. There's a ton of games on here. There's even some Naomi games on here. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and have a peek. Hello, party people. Welcome to the image. It is 128 gigabytes, so it will fit on most good 128 gigabyte micro SD cards like a SanDisk, a Samsung. Uh, the actual file is 114 gigabytes, which is 123,443,721,000 bytes. And just right off the bat, what makes this such a great image? Well, it's not totally loaded with just 15,000 games that you've seen on many other 128 gigabytes, but it's full of high quality games like a huge Nintendo 64 collection, Dreamcast, PlayStation, 3DO, uh, huge arcade set so it's got a it is very well loaded it's just not loaded with like Commodore 64 and Amiga there's actually is none on here so um, if you're looking for more of the I guess it would be more 80s and 90s and early 2000s um, this would definitely be the image for you it's not gonna have some of the older 8-bit systems or computer based systems but it still has a ton of stuff on here um, being on the Odroid XU4 this is a ported version of RetroPie so you're gonna see similar functionality that you do on the RetroPie but you're gonna have better optimization because this is a faster single board computer it can emulate better um, and the reason why I'm hovering over Cody is because you will have a better Cody experience you have a better Nintendo 64 experience and you have these brand new Naomi system uh, emulator support it also does have Nintendo DS among and supported games amongst and Sega Saturn but don't get your hopes up too much for those um, but it, it, you know it is paving the way for some Sega Saturn um, emulation uh, to get started when you go into RetroPie, you do have the ORA arena toolkit which has helped with easy hacks and uh, David Marty made some of these scripts the first thing I did was I toggled off my background music which is this toggle BGM if you don't like the background music you can also hit start on your controller and either up or reduce the volume here and then you're gonna have similar you know controls and configurations and themes settings that you would on a normal Raspberry Pi uh, same thing when you jump into a system you can hit uh, start or I'm sorry select and then jump to letter all the same functionality of RetroPie is here um, Something I did want to point out though is you do have those scripts pre-installed and then as far as controller configuration When you first boot up this image, it will ask you to prompt for a controller I'm using the Xbox 360 controller and when you type in your controls it updates that for MuPin, RetroArch and uh, Rycast the Dreamcast emulator now the um, Arcades that it should work for those as well, but you can manually uh, map those buttons and then the only other system you might have an issue with is going to be with the Sega Saturn and you're going to want to either hook up a key keyboard and press escape or I believe the hot key for Sega Saturn is like your Xbox button and X or it's one of the right analog sticks you might just want to play around with hitting a bunch of buttons to get to the um, emulator menu and then you can uh, manually map your controls there so now that I've told you a little bit about this image let's go ahead and jump into you know what exactly is here what's going on what do I have um, so there is no Amiga that's just the um, the emulator itself so let's start with three right three uh, num numero num numbers uh, numeric order is what I was going for or numbers come before alphabetical letters typically so uh, 3do eight games and these run really good on the Odroid XC4 you can see some road rash momentarily arcade classic so this is actually pretty cool because games like two on two open ice um, really do perform better on the Odroid because it's just it's slightly more graphically intense you're gonna get a lot better performance on that 
Um, these games, you know, will run great. Atari 2600, 650, Atari 5200, 81, Atari 7058, Atari 8-bit 335, Atari Lynx 76, uh, a Thomas Wave or Adam's Wave. I don't know how, which, how you guys pronounce that. Um, this is a uh, part of the Naomi emulator. Um, the Guilty Gear games are awesome. This Metal Slug looks amazing. The graphics on there compared to the Neo Geo version, um, are really nice. They're just very smooth. Um, it doesn't get that kind of laggy feel that you get on the uh, the Neo Geo as much. Uh, Coley Co Vision, um, pretty standard. One sixteen Dreamcast. There's about fifteen here, and uh, we'll play um, Marvel's Capcom Two shortly. Um, all these games run just fine. Um, you get a little bit of tearing in Sonic Adventure, but that's just the emulation in general. That doesn't necessarily have to do much with the uh, the single board computer itself. Uh, Family Computer Disk System 87, Game & Watch 54, Game Gear 49, Game Boy Advance 24, Game Boy Color 377, Cody, Sega Master System 263, Sega Mega Drive, also known as Genesis 514. So not every single ROM, but most of them, MSX 25, MSX 256, 1064 189, I'll play GoldenEye a little later. You'll see, um, you'll all see we have video snaps. The video snaps for this image are not everywhere uh for example the psp there's no video snaps um but it, it's it's good it's like 90 percent there um but back to nintendo 64 there's about 300 nintendo 64 games a lot of people complain like hey why do you put nintendo 64 on the raspberry pi they don't play that great well they play okay and i have to say on the odroid xc4 they play way better than okay and you'll see that momentarily uh naomi GD-ROM system. Uh, we'll play Guilty Gear a little later. These games just look great. I really like the way these games look, and it's great to be able to play these arcade-style games on your uh, single-board computer. Nintendo DS. Some of you like it, some of you don't like it, but there's there's some good games for um, Nintendo DS. You've got Video Snaps. Those should work just fine. Neo Geo 136, pretty standard. Nintendo 730. PC Engine CD-ROM. You got 10 here. And so, for example, there's no video snaps here. So, um, here you go. We got some of these games, NEC games. A few cool little titles here. Uh, Port 17, we got Sea Dogs, Cannonball, Cave Story. So, the cool little adventure games, little ports. The Zelda port that's based off the Super NES uh, engine. You know, really, really cool stuff. I've never actually beat these games, and. Uh, I would love to try them out as I love the initial Super Nintendo one. So uh, PSP, here's where you're going to see some performance differential. The Pi struggles on a lot of these games, especially once you go to 2X or 3X resolution. You'll see here I can play er, later Gran Turismo on 3X and still get some pretty decent frames and playability. Um, some of these other games like Metal Ma Mega Man will play just fine. Uh, but others, it does help to have this extra processing power. Um, so PSP, no video snaps there. PlayStation 13 games, you do have video snaps. And uh, maybe you can add some more PlayStation games because these run great. Um, they also run good on the Pi as well. Sega Saturn. So this is, you know, I've been kind of messing around with this. I'm not going to put it in this video because I'm having issues with my controls. I'm also having issues with just too much lag. You'll see later I, I open up Sonic R. It lagged a lot. Now, uh, Don Pachi um, does play way better as far as frame rates but uh i need to figure out my controls and everything else with the emulator uh, but you can also play this game on arcade so you know i i still that's why i said i wouldn't get everyone's hopes up for sega saturn because i think the games that people do want to play on sega saturn are still a little bit laggy on this uh single board computer scum vm there's some really cool fun games on here so it's cool that they included some of those sega 32x 33 sega cd 9 super famicon 363 sg 1068 Super Nintendo 567, TurboGrafx 1692, Vetrix 23, Virtual Boy, Wonder Swan, Sharp X1, cool to have these games, get some Dig Dug action, Sharp 68000, you know, this is just a little added, they probably had a ROM pack, all the Zorks, CX Spectrum, you know, so they did throw in some games here and there, and then we're back at all games at 7898, so there you have it, now let's get into some gameplay, we'll play a little bit of each. Um, also, another note is it does come with the bezel project pre-installed. Um, the script is installed, but you actually have to click this, connect to the Wi-Fi, and enable it uh, if you actually want to have those bezels. Right now, I've noticed most of the games I play do not have bezels, um, at least the ones I saw. And then as far as splash screens, it's not a video 
it's just a little screen saver. So if you want to add your own custom splash screen, you could do that as well. Um, but as I mentioned, what's so great about this image is what the team ORA did. Basically, PyPiggy's just dumped a really nice ROM pack and pre-configured a lot of the emulators and BIOS files for you. So it's really cool that they did that, but I have to give credit where the credit is due, where you know it's also RetroPy themselves and the team ORA who made this possible from, from really the, the, the functionality standpoint. And then having somebody then take that those that software and then add in the uh, the ROMs on top of it and the configurations just makes it that perfect perfect mixture and uh, we get what we see here um, I think we're gonna see a lot more of these but for now this is uh, awesome really really good stuff um, the only thing better right now is if you make it yourself uh, starting from scratch all right so without further ado let's uh, check out some gameplay Breaks on the inside. What an apex I got there. I'm just gonna dive in the inside there. Got him. First position. All right, let's uh, up the. Oh. Let's see if we can get some two X here. Oh, did I lose? Ready? Start! Whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh, I hit the wrong <laughs> button. Alright, so this is handling it all pretty good. Now this game's kind of weird because depending on where you are in the course and how many things it's trying to load at the same time. Oh, they want me to. Ooh. It could uh, all of a sudden bog down. Look at all these people getting off in the dust. Alright, let's see if we can bump this up. 3x looks great. If you can get away with 3x, that's fantastic. And we're getting away with it so far. Full screen, PSP, 3x. Not perfect on the FPS, but Definitely playable. Please select your character. Wow, this runs really good. This runs and looks great. and looking great. Oh, 
here's where you typically would get some lag. Good. Even the death sequence, there's not much lag there. Looking good, running good. actually running really good. Alright, so there you have it, Pi Piggies, Team ORA, running a ported version of RetroPi on the Odroid XU4. Um, hopefully that chip gets a little cheaper. It still is a little pricier than the Raspberry Pi, but not all that much. And if you want to put it in a bar top or something like that, it gives you the portability. It's really small. Um, that And Nintendo 64 case for it is awesome. And, uh, you know, being able to play GoldenEye four-player with all your friends with that N64 case is, or, or even Mario Kart or Mario Party, you know, that to me is worth it on its own. Um, and then just having such a great front end and all this already done, I mean, it's an A+. Plus. Um, you know, there's some things missing as we saw, some video snaps, things like that. Those are fairly easy fixes, so maybe we'll see a version two. Um, but the fact that you don't have to get this Team RRA image and build it all yourself and customize it. It's already done for you. You know, there's a there's a, you know, a lot of people it's intimidating to do that and to have it all here, especially with some hand selected titles. Um, really nice stuff. As far as the theme and everything else and just setting up your controls, you know, newbie could pick this up in no time whatsoever. Um, in general, a lot of what I love about this image is the work that team ORA has done, which is like getting the LCD screen to work on the Nintendo 64 case, more controllers, uh, configurations that work, you know, being more compatible with more controllers, and then adding additional emulators and stability. Um, I think that's really where the magic is on this one. But Pi Piggy's taking that magic and then just, you know, putting that finishing touch on it is awesome, awesome stuff. So thanks to all those people. Really good stuff. I got to give this one an A. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. And we'll catch you on the next one.